Hey guys, uh, I really want to do vlogs on this channel. Like, oof. I really want to do vlogs on this channel, at least a little bit, because you know I've got the whole CG's log thing, and it wouldn't really be a log if there wasn't a log. So I feel obligated to make a log. <laughs> that was kind of the point of the whole thing was to start making vlogs, but then I thought, hey, I could throw in business and lifestyle and such things, but. Obviously, it's still very early in the creation of my channel, and uh, that's subject to change. Everything is subject to change. We're, we're less than 30 videos in. When we get up closer to 15 and 20, then we'll have a more solid direction established. But uh, The best thing you can ever do is establish a plan and go for it, but always be ready to change it. And that's what I'm doing right now. All right, I don't like it. I don't like, I don't like the direction that the channel is going. And I know that I only have five videos and this really doesn't matter because I mean, this is gonna get like, maybe it's gonna get 30 views if it does better than all of my other videos. I don't expect it to, but when I imagine myself five years from now, I don't see myself making the business lifestyle tech content. I don't, that's not my brand. That's not me. And I am my brand, so it, it has to be me. Or an extension of me, what some part of me might express itself. But it, this isn't it. Business lifestyle tech is not, it's not. Me, it's not CG, it's not Christopher Jameson Elijah Williams. So I can't, it can't be this way, it can't be the way that it is right now. It's got to change. The idea is to take your vision and run towards it as fast as you can, but always be ready to turn to yield to a new direction when your first idea doesn't work out. I say when because the first idea is usually nothing like the end result. It's okay. Life is that way. It's not supposed to be completely certain. We're supposed to have faith that God has got a plan for us. And as long as we're running towards Him as fast as we can in the way which we believe He has called us, then we're going to end up where He wants us to be. And that's the best way to live. And I absolutely believe that. Don't get me wrong, I'm a minister. But we can take that same principle and apply it to the smaller things in our lives, to our own goals. And if God has ordained them, or if He lets it be so, then all we have to do is go and get it. I read a book called The, the Kingdom Man by Tony Evans, and he talked about pulling the blessings down. He talked about how the birds of the sky, they still get fed, they get their food, they get taken care of, but they have to go get it. You have to go get the things that you want, just like the birds of the sky. And we're worth a whole lot more than they are to God. So I know that God is going to take care of me and help me move through this and help me get to where I need to be, unless this is just absolutely too far out of the plan for what He wants me to do. I mean, He'll let me know in whatever way he sees fit. It's not something that I'm going to figure out. No one ever figures out what God's will is. It's revealed. And there's no equation for it. There's no algorithm to figure it out. It's revealed to us in his own timing. If there was any other way, then, well, we really wouldn't need faith. If we could figure it out on our own, then we wouldn't need to have faith that God was taking care of it already, and that he was going to take care of it. I know the life which God has called me to live, and I know the things which I am passionate about, and I know the things which I am good at, and which I have enough experience in that I could teach someone else, that I could share that information with the world in a medium that is also an expression of myself. And business, lifestyle, tech is not it. Seiju's log is going to have a whole rebrand done to it. 
And that's good. It's good to change directions. It's good to fail. It's good to be wrong. Because once you know the things that you don't like, the things that you do like become more clear. The big companies like Apple, Amazon, Microsoft, they don't try to raise up their smaller, less significant products to make as much money as their big ones. Rather, they keep pushing their big ones. So the big ones get bigger. And the smaller ones, I mean, if they get big, that's great. But they're not going to take attention away from their major success, from their major goals, to focus on the smaller itty bitty ones and raise them up to be just as big. We're running towards God. There's your first success. Because if you're going towards Him, He's coming towards you. Having your life goals, just... If you're running towards God this way, don't run that way to get to your own goal. If your goal's over here, but God's over here, you don't need to go after that goal. So put your goals in line with God, and you'll be okay. Man, it's a heart thing, isn't it? Everything that we do flows from our heart. You know, you can get down to the translations and see where the words heart and mind are interchangeable. And you say... Well, if I just want it bad enough, God will give it to me, won't he? Delight in the Lord, and he'll give you the desires of your heart. That's not what the word delight means, necessarily. Not, It's a double meaning. If you delight in the Lord, then you're also being vulnerable before the Lord, so that he can change your heart, so that your goals do line up with him. And they don't go this way, and they don't go that way, but they all line up under God. I don't know how I could be more passionate about anything else, so much so as to be able to consistently express that in a way that's entertaining or a way that's fun to watch or a way that's teachable. I mean, I could be teachable. I can be educational, but... And teaching and education is part of me. That's part of my life. That's part of ministry. In an effort to move the channel towards a more pure, raw version of myself... And to create an environment in which I can be personally expressive in whatever way I emotionally see fit, I guess. I'm rebranding the channel. To all 11 of my subscribers, I know that's devastating news. You didn't subscribe for this. (laughs) You subscribed because I asked you to. But the fact of the matter is that the condition of the world right now does not need more entrepreneurs. It needs more ministers. And I can't think of a better way to apply all the things that I've learned about marketing and the internet and algorithms and publicity and this, that, and the other than through digital ministry. I mean, obviously I've got ministry real life. There are going to be a lot of things to figure out within this. A lot of new handholds and footholds while we'll climb up this. But this is the right direction. This is the right direction. So, here we go.